Hello and welcome to my International Harvester 468 Seed Bed Conditioner 116 toy. Uh, this was a very complicated toy to build and is almost uh, made up of 600 individual pieces. Um, in fact, a seed bed conditioner is about four different implements in one. Up front you have the, uh, the cultivator part, your mulcher part, uh, flattening pieces on the end, and, uh, and, and of course your flattening board. I, I'm hoping to keep uh, the focus on this particular video clip as, as clear as I can given the complexity of this toy. Um, so I do apologize but I do go fuzzy on you as I try to narrate and, uh, and uh, film at the same time. The first part of this toy up front is in fact three individual pieces which are all interlinked to the adjustable uh, uh, arm right here and you can tell how they're all bolted together and, and adjustable in themselves in terms of height. Uh, the next piece here is a, is, a, is a mulching part. Now I do have this toy in the upright position, but it, of course by uh, the locking pin, which is right in behind here, hopefully I can catch this for you, which is right in here. You just, uh, just take the pressure off and then pull the pin and the whole thing rests nicely. This is very complicated to build and I will not make another one of these for one simple reason. These parts right here in brass, these angle irons, are no longer made by the major uh, 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 brass manufacturers who make for or where you can buy these at, at hobby shops. Uh, I was lucky here in the past year or so to get the last from my local hobby shop and have not found any since. So for that reason alone, to find angle iron and brass is very, very hard. If you happen to know a hobby shop that has it, and if you're into this kind of stuff uh, and there's any left, you might want to just uh, get a hold of it. But you can tell here on, on, in this toy how this, all these parts are connected by these, this major four-point uh, bar, which is adjustable in itself, by the way. So it was a very complex uh, piece of equipment in its day, and you could tell uh, complex in, its, uh, in making it as a toy. And I mean, even uh, the entire part here is all uh, hinged and on... Uh, on uh, I guess the, the chain, and that's just a hobby chain that you would find at any hobby store, and it's painted red. Again, this is all painted International Harvester red. There, it's all primed, of course, first, and then it's uh, all put together. The spikes here are, in fact, brass na carpet nails, which I individually soldered, drilled a hole in each of these um, lengths, and then soldered them in place, and then put them together. And all this here, as you can tell, is all uh, all movable and and would float if you're ever to, you know, intended to uh, display it that way, run it that way. I hope that the, the camera really, in fact, captures the complexity of this toy because it is probably one of the most complicated ones uh, next to the 55 chisel plow that I've ever had, or I've ever uh, taken on. Uh, but again, a very worthwhile undertaking. Uh, I'm just showing you from the back and the, uh, and the sides. I mean, they're essentially, essentially the same. And you can tell uh, the method by which the, cult the fiber shanks are made, I've already described. Very similar in making the disc is how these, uh, the mulcher here is made. This in itself was all in interesting in itself. Let me make sure I keep my camera on here for you. And this, by the way, is a piece of balsa wood painted black, which is what it really was in, in real life, a board that was mounted on the back. And as you can tell here, its uh, replica sits in this International Harvester brochure uh, from the early 80s. And, uh, but uh, uh, I'll just give you maybe a, an aerial shot of it here. So the uh, number of pieces and complexities that were involved in making this particular toy. And hopefully I haven't lost too much of focus and, uh, and uh, detail for you. Um, again, uh, quite an interesting toy, but unfortunately due to the lack of angle uh, brass that's now made by the brass manufacturers, uh, any more of this particular one uh, won't be coming unless supplies change in the future. Hope you enjoyed this.